Doug in Daytona. Hi, Doug. What's on your mind? Hey, Dan. Love the show. Love you. Hey, just want to um, bring something up. Uh, Fritzy has been on fire since L.A., you know, Super Bowl. I don't want to talk conspiracy, like performance enhancing or anything like that, but mm. um, he's a different dude since he's come from back from L.A. I don't know if it's a three-piece story, being back in his old stopping grounds. I don't know. I don't know if it's IT investigation worthy, but I want to get your thoughts on that. Well, I think Paulie has an idea of what's happened to Fritzy since the Super Bowl. Yeah, I do have a theory there. Now, obviously, it started, I think, with the departure of McLovin that opened up some room on the show mm-hmm. for Fritzy. But I really think for Fritzy, the uh, springboard of this uh, rebirth, this renaissance, is the Valley Girl imitation he did uh, Wednesday of Super Bowl week that really crushed. He was not exactly having a great Monday, Tuesday on air, if my notes are correct. But Wednesday, he went, or maybe Thursday, after the night out at... Um, Big Dean's in Santa Monica, when he was hoarding all the women, mm-hmm. he put in the Valley Girl imitation and it kind of uh, ramped up his Super Bowl week and he finished strong. You want to give, give us a little bit of, uh, well, this is where you met. There was a picture that we took where you're around five girls. So Two. there's only five girls that were there at Big Dean's in Santa Monica. They were all five at your table. Two of them were sisters. Yeah. And one was wearing a shirt with a picture of me. So one of the sisters, <laughs> Says to the other sister and to me when I was chatting him up, said, why is she wearing a picture of you on your shirt? Are you famous or something? <laughs> Who are you guys anyway? <laughs> and I will say from uh, sources close to me that your impersonation of this girl <laughs> is spot on. Yeah. It was very, uh, it was, I don't know, I don't want to say off-putting because she was very sweet, but it was really thick, extra, it's like Valley Girl Plus. Give me a little bit more. So my sister is going to be getting a new uh, beer together. I don't know, a little sake. I don't know if you guys want to invest in her company, but that would be kind of nice. If you're famous, you probably have a lot of money. You want to split a burger or something? <laughs> Why don't you buy me a drink? You know we're not doing anything, by the way. You have a wedding ring on, and you look like my grandfather. You have no hair. Whatever hair you do have is gray. <laughs> Nothing's going on here. Nothing funny. You could be my dad. <laughs> that might have been it. But I, I was even talking to my wife about you last night. I said, you've been on fire, content-wise. You've, you've, you know, the last month, been on fire. Things are good on the home front. I'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> what bloop, is that bloop, supposed to be? Bloop, bloop, That was inappropriate. <laughs> but, you know, it makes the other 14 and a half years stand out a little bit more <laughs> when you... Where have you been? Yeah, man? yeah. But, you know, you kind of eased into the situation here and you didn't want to rush it. It sometimes d- takes a decade and a half at least yeah. to have, you know, find your place. Yes, see. Paulie. I think we just learned something, though. Fritzy, good Fritzy at work means more uh, Fritzy-ish at home. Mm. And then when it goes well there, we get better Fritzy at work. It's like mm. it's a good cycle. Mm, okay. Not necessarily for her. I but. choose not to think about that. <laughs> I, I'd it's rather. like kids that don't want to hear like, that, that their parents do those things. I just, like, they can't handle it. All righty. Why are you making sexual references on a sports talk show? <laughs> so not cool. FCC violation. 